Hi there. Yep, I will do another video tonight. Um, I was lucky enough to see in eBay a seller doing these lamps. They're obviously new old stock. Um, got them quite reasonably actually. They're not ones that really come into uh, my range of stuff, but I thought, uh, well, that price I would. Uh, I remember these when they first came out. I don't know the exact year, but I do remember them coming out. And uh, at the time, I was living near Wimbledon, and there was a shop actually in Wimbledon who sold these. They were, as I say, quite a new thing at the time. Anyway, um, there's the box that come. They're um, they're not sort of. I don't know. I. I don't call them rare, but um, as I say, they seem to be, they fetch quite a price at times on eBay. Once again, I don't know why, but they do. Um, these ones, I saw, I was lucky enough, I had to buy six of them in, in a box. Uh, the Philips SL13, 13 refers to the wattage. Prismatic was the design of, of the uh, the glass coating, or the or, or, or the glass is like a glass jar, which is round them. And there are super. They say it's a new, in various languages. It's quite a fancy box. Quite strong. Prismatic. Cost saving. Oh, must save money. Box. Hey, let's have a look, a little look at the actual. Lamp. They did make these in several sizes. I think they did one a bit smaller and a couple a bit bigger. But there's the job in my hand. It's quite a heavy device because in it you've got the actual ballast. It's a magnetic ballast. This was before electronics came out. Uh, so we've got an electronic belt, which you can probably see through there. That white part would be that. And, I don't know if you can see it. You'll certainly see it if I put it in, because it'll flash. You've got the little starter bulb inside. which I, And of course the two U-shaped loops of a compact fluorescent tube. Now, as I say, they were quite so. I remember these, they, our underground system uh, used to use these. I suppose the reason being they were long lasting. And I notice on some of the underground stations where the train comes into a station, um, they would have these um, on the side of the tunnel just before, before you come into the tunnel. Obviously, they're not all the way along. But they did have them just before the train came into the tunnel. Made by Philips. Made in Holland. There's anything else on there. There's the designation. SL13. 13 watt. 240. 50 hertz. And to say these... They said they lasted up to 6,000 hours. I think my book says e even more, but we'll be on the, the, the safe side and uh, quote what it says on the box. 6,000 hours. Also using one quarter of the electricity of ordinary light. Uh, unsuited for use on dimmer switch, which makes sense. Anyway, let's have a little look, see what it's like as it lights up. Now, as you as you can see, I used to have to keep swapping over to um, get the inverter. So what I did, I found a um, uh, multi-socket board, and uh, it will save messing about. I can just change from one to the other without 
doing too much which I'm about to do so we'll screw the bulb in oh excuse me um, this is mains voltage so we'll wham it right round you get the characteristic flickering to start there's the actual lamp now let's see where somewhere you'll see the starter working so if I turn it off and then on you'll see what I mean so turn the juice off turn the other light off ah it's on the other side I'm just show it by turning it off by unscrewing. Just see it down on the bottom there. Let's see if I can show it again. So again, don't want to keep doing it, but um, that's the actual starter switch. It looks like an argon one you've got uh, a bluey glow anyhow any questions please ask I'll try and answer you um, as I say it's not well I say it's not within my reality that I have got some some compact fluorescents in fact quite a few upstairs but um, to me it hasn't got a filament so uh, <laughs> it interests me less the lamps that have got filaments. Anyhow, once again, thanks for thanks for looking. As I say, any questions, please ask, and I'll try and I will get back to you. Uh, so all being well, yeah, I'll get back to you. So once again, thanks again for watching. I'm definitely not putting another video up tonight. Might do some more in the morning when I get up. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I've still got quite a few bulbs with filaments up on that shelf. So um, anyhow, to then, I'll stop talking now. So once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.